many places, many temples in the uh, to do some excavation and something they were found and I would say trying to have a word that they don't steal anything from Cambodia, they just brought them to preserve. <laughs> um, it was so funny to me when I was guiding uh, two uh, 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 friends couples and they are so, he's so arrogant. He uh, married with the Mexican lady, he owned uh, over 30 and 40 room hotel in Mexico and he came over and I was inviting him around and uh, yeah, he asked me how about the friend in Cambodia he did a lot of good things you know, do some restoration and the uh, 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 housing uh, Cambodian government at that time I used to say uh, he called the friend as a protectorator you know and, uh, and also friends when they do some restoration and uh, uh, clearing the temple, with all the bushes out of the temple, also they did a uh, stone uh, thing from Cambodia, some artifacts, carving and some stuff like that. But then they never say they stole things from Cambodia, so they brought them to preserve. So I just hmm. make a joke about, he has a nice Rolex watch, can I preserve it for you? <laughs> <laughs> I got the, I got big complaint. <laughs> <laughs> like Cambodian, they say, uh, if someone they, uh, the motorbike was stolen, and said, oh, my motorbike like disappear or melt out. That in Cambodian word they have several meanings. And then someone said, well, don't worry, your belonging, your motorbike, it's not disappear or it's not melt out. It just just someone own it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your motorbike is still motorbike, <laughs> but it's not you anymore. <laughs> someone else. So uh, the anchor was with nine towers. Five.